So in direct proportion, what happens? Firstly, if your x is in the numerator, y also will be in the numerator. Then if x increases by 2, y also increases by, will be increasing by a factor of 2. So the sign is this, x is proportional to y. This is what direct proportion. Okay, if you multiply by 2 here, y will be also get doubled. If you multiply by 3, y also will get, you know, uh, multiplied by a factor of 3. Ab isko equal to, this is a sign of proportionality. Isko equal karne ke liye kya karte hain hum? A constant laga sakte hain. So we can do x equal to ky. Now what is the practical meaning of being proportional? Let's see, let's see, I will tell you. Both easy examples I will explain. If one pencil costs rupees three, so two pencils will cost how much? Okay. Rupees six. So pencils ko x maan leta hu, uh, cost ko y maan leta hu. So x will be equal to three y. Dono proportional hai. X number of pencils increase hongi cost increase hogi. But by a factor of what? 3. This is the very practical implication. Now, if chocolate 10 ki hai, x equal to 10 y ho jai. Hope everyone understood this. Okay, guys. So, I have a part solve karo. So I will give you a hint. May I think I will solve the A part. Yeah, fir aap pehle solve karo. Then I will solve the A part, tell you how it is done. Have given you the answer for the answer. Okay, cover and unweave. Fine. All right, Ray. Now let's see how we will be solving in future also this type of question. So y is directly proportional to z. So I can write y is directly proportional to z. So if you write this in, in a question where the marks are more, you will get one mark for writing this also. Y is equal to KZ. This is how you have to write. Then when Z is 5, Y is equal to how much? 2. So 2 equal to K times 5. So K is equal to 2 by 5. Any confusion in this? Now, thoda sa difficult lagta hai ye aise itna likke karna, but beta, this is how we will be, you know, doing it for exams also. So, 2 by 5 into 6. So, that will give me 12 by 5 or 2, 2 by 5. Z. Z will come here. Wait. 2 by 5 means 2 ki value to maine kar diya. I just had to find the value of y. So it will be 2, 2 by 5. Got it? Any confusion? Mm. Now do the B part kids. 
So once we have found the value of k, then you can start from step three. This is the step three. You can start from here, this one. And we, it's not correct. Sorry, sir. Get this enter click over there. I sent again. Okay, and and recover. So z is equal to twelve point five. Okay, but guys, one bar formula a jaye na. We have got the formula y equal to two by five z. Where to ek, like these are baby questions, correct? So this is the formula that I have got by finding the value of k. Once I get the formula, then it's like a piece of k. Right, Kovarsa? Yes. Next, do this question. Now in this question, v is proportional to the square of its mass n. So the first statement will be V is proportional to M square. I have written the first statement for you. Now you guys solve. Rest everything, we will make it V equal to KM square. We know it now, right? So this is called the constant of proportionality. Anvi, did you do your homework? So, 10 questions are left. Monisha, by when will you submit your homework? Okay. By when will you submit your homework? So about tomorrow, I think. And we, it's not correct. You can first send the answer for the A part.
All right. So answer is 50 grams. So do fifth, six, seven. There are three answers in fifth, three in six, three in seventh. And we were yawning. Where, sir, you can speak your fifth answer? Fifth answer? Yes. So, the uh, Z is equal to 12, X is equal to 4, and 22.
All right. So third one. Has it been answer? Yes, it is answered. So Anvi, you realize your mistake of the sixth question? Yes. So tell me, kids, after this question, uh, should we do more questions in class or should I give the rest for homework? How should we work it out? So more questions in class or less questions in class? So maybe by now to there is no. Mr. Ray, you can speak your answer. Yes, sir. so the answers are uh, so 9, 25, and 4.5. Who were correct your last answer? Understood. Got it, Kovar, sir? Oh, no, should I explain? Okay. So do the 11th and 12th.
So that was the typing mistake that I made at the time. And send again. And you can do the thirteenth and fourteenth question. One second, I'm showing you the first line of 13. You said there are two questions in the 11th. Yes. And twelfth question is also left. Ray, you can speak your answer for the first question. So you also made the same mistake that Kova did. And your both answers are wrong. Is it eighty one correct? Yes, yes, twelfth is correct. So just may I turn off my camera for a second? Mr. Ray, answer is still wrong. It 
it's not coming correctly, I will explain. Hang on for a second. All right, and we this one is correct. Uh, for, uh, we have to solve fourteen two. Yes. Okay. All right, Ray, let's see. The life of an earthworm L is directly proportional to the square root of number of hours N, which have elapsed since its time its birth. So this you understand? So L is equal yes. to K root N, correct? Now, if a worm is 2 centimeters long, so 2 I will write here, after 1 hour, so k and root of n will be 1 only. So, what is k equal to? k is equal to 2, correct? Yes or no? Yes. So, how long will it be after 4 hours? 4 hours I will write here, 4, it will be 2 into root of what will be i have to find the how long will it be after two hours so l is equal to two root n this is the formula now. yeah so l is equal to two into root four which is equal to four hours yes so should i explain the b part also yes, sir, and, uh, so i didn't see the square root Mr. Ray, solve the B part and send the other parts as well. Which are his twelfth question, correct? Twelfth. Oh, yes, what your 13th question, right? Yes, Kuvarsa, your 13th question is correct. Mr. Ray, your 12th question is also wrong. First, you B part solve karo, Ray 11th, ka, then the 12th one. Yes. Miss Anvi, it's totally wrong. You think over it for some time. Okay, now 11th is correct way. You can go to the 12th one. So can you help the 14th question? You just wait beta, let Ray also come to that question. Ray, you 12th and 14th. Kar 
Just do 12th. All right, Ray, now you can try the 14th question directly. Yes. Yes, Ray. Should I explain? The answer. Yes, you can explain. Yeah. So damage is proportional to fourth power of load. Do we understand that this yes or no? So what did we lo uh, load raised to power four? What? So what did we load raised to power four? Because it is not square. It is not a uh, fourth load. Or... It's a fourth power of Excel load. Fourth power of X. If I tell you third power of Excel load, it means uh, one by four only. The power is one by four. Yeah. 
directly proportional to the power of Excel load. Mm. One, just give me one second, let me check. Just give me a moment. Let me check what does this mean. Till then you do this question. Do the ABC part of this question. Okay. And V G, it is correct. A is correct. B is correct. And C is wrong. And we always give the answer in positive power of exponent. All right. So give your second and third answer again. And we, your third answer is correct. Just give your second answer in the positive power of exponent. So, sent. Yes. So, Kuvarsa, you can speak your answers. So, for the A, the answer is X is to power 20. Okay, fine, fine, fine. It's correct. First three answers are correct. Now, let's go to, back to that question. So, Ray, you are right. I misread the question. So, for the 17th one, no, no, this was not the case. This was the question. So let's see what will be the damage done by the car. So damage done by the car will be equal to how much? K times. Since damage is directly proportional to the XL load. So I can say K times L4. Can I say that? Now they are asking the damage done by the HGV, diamond 
cost done by the HCV will be equal to K times. The load is how many times of a car? 15 times of a car. So I will write 15 L raised to the power 4. Is it clear? Now I will do the ratio by dividing both sides. So D because HGV over damage done by car will be equal to K times 15 to the power 4 L to the power 4 upon K times L to the power 4. So K and K will get cancelled out. L4 and L4 will be get cancelled out. I will get the ratio 15 to the power 4 is to 1. Got so it, what it. about 44? Where 44 turn HG? So there is 44 turn of HG. Yes. Better, but that doesn't matter. Na? That is not going to count. Because the XL load of a 44 ton HGV is 15 times of a car. So I am just related the damage done to the road is just proportional to what? To the XL load. It is not proportional to the weight of the car. Understood? Yes. So they give sometimes such random values to confuse you. Next, do the DEF part. Yes. Correct, Kubar, sir. You get a heart from my side. And you can speak your answer. Uh, 27x raised to power 6. Okay. 4x raised to power 3. Okay. And then 12y raised to power 5. All right. Do these three questions.
first question cover sides wrong and the second is wrong mr ray the second is wrong This answer is two for sure. Sir, how the first question is wrong? How the first question is wrong? Sir, we solved it again, but the answer is same. Uh, sir, I corrected it. Ray, you can speak your second answer. Sir, it's 54 into A into C raised to power 6. 2, this is 54 A C to the power 6. C to the power 6, now you said 6. Yes. So this will be 8 A cube over, sir. Correct? Yes, sir. Divide by 3a. Did you understand how or no? Yes, sir. I have to follow this in. 8 by 3a square. Remember, I just changed it to the next fraction. 2, 2 by 3a square. I did it like this. Okay. Seventeen, eighteen, and twenty six. Twenty six is wrong, Mr. Ray. All right, Ray, and cover your answers are correct. That's all for today. And we, you can speak your answers. Forty nine one three. Uh...